Welcome to the Vaccine Development and Production Summit podcast. Today we have keynote speaker Menon M. J. Cox, who is president and CEO of Protein Sciences Corporation. Welcome to the show. Hello, Jennifer. Can you start off by telling us what is different about flu block as compared to other influenza vaccines? Yes, flu block is a modern recombinant influenza vaccine. It's actually the first influenza vaccine that has been approved by the FDA recently on January 16. And what is most important about that is that no influenza virus is used in the manufacturing process. There's no egg protein present. This technology allows us to have a highly purified protein vaccine, which means that we are able to put three times more active ingredients ingredient in the vaccine. We also do not need to add chimerosal, antibiotics, or adjuvants to the vaccine. So in principle, it's a pure vaccine. One could call it not your father's influenza vaccine. Influenza is a vaccine-preventable disease, and yet only 20% of healthy adults are immunized. Why? Well, first of all, I think when you are a healthy adult, you don't really think that you need an influenza vaccine. And this, uh, I think that there is this belief amongst healthy adults that when they don't get the flu, they also don't carry the flu virus, but yet we know that 20% of us gets infected with influenza every season. So while you may not have very severe symptoms, you are spreading the virus to other people. And this is one of the reasons why many hospitals nowadays have this policy that you need to be vaccinated if you get close to to patients in a hospital because you are likely to be a spreader of the disease. I also think that uh, there's quite a group of people that doesn't get the influenza vaccine because they think you can get the flu from it. And this is from CDC research, approximately 30% of the U.S. population. So while it's unclear where that is coming from, it may have to do with the fact that all the other production processes use influenza viruses as as part of their production process. Are other influenza vaccine manufacturers working on influenza vaccines innovation? Well, unfortunately, innovation in this industry has been enormously slow. Um, The influenza vaccines is a commodity product. It has a relatively low price. And while recombinant DNA technology has been around for the last 30 years and the first recombinant vaccine, a hepatitis B vaccine, was already licensed, I think, about 30 years ago, nobody has really had an incentive to develop a new um, influenza vaccine. So I would say no, there's very little innovation in this field. Uh, People are making, uh, you know, step approaches in in this field, but I hope that with the approval of uh, flu block, um, uh, other manufacturers will be uh, encouraged to also uh, start thinking about innovation. Are you developing a vaccine against the new avian H7N9 virus that is spreading in China? Yes, we are. We are preparing to respond if needed. We have basically received the um, inactivated uh, H7N9 virus from CDC, immediately started the process of making a working virus bank. And this, this means that if it would be needed, and I, of course I hope that it will not be needed because to date there is no real indication that the virus is able to spread from humans to humans, but if it should be needed, we should be able to go into production very rapidly. How quickly can you produce a vaccine in the event of a public health emergency? So in general, it will take us 21 days to go to get into production after we receive genetic material. And that genetic material can be in the form of an inactivated virus. So for example, last Friday, uh, we received an inactivated H7N9 vaccine from CDC. But at the same time, the moment the sequences were uh, broadcasted on the internet, we also ordered a uh, synthetic form of that sequence. And so it all depends on what comes in quickest, but uh, from the moment of receiving that material, it will take 21 days to go into production, and then generally the first manufacturing uh, batch will take about a week to complete, and then you have your testing, which today still takes three to four weeks to complete. So in total, mm, I would say uh, that depending on the stage that you are in, the moment you start producing your first batch, it will take you a month to get the first product released to market. What is unique about your manufacturing platform? Well, the unique uh, feature of the Vector Virus production platform is that it is a plug-and-play system. You use 
the same cell line for the manufacturing of anything that you want to manufacture, whether that is a influenza vaccine or a rabies vaccine or an hepatitis vaccine. So our cell line has now been approved for the production of influenza, and that was a was a very long time item in our approval process that, that raised many, many questions because it was a new cell substrate. This cell line is the same for any and all products, so any next generation vaccine that we develop, whether that is a different influenza vaccine or an entirely different vaccine, much quicker. And then an added advantage to that is that once you have a manufacturing facility established that can produce a baculovirus derived product, you could one day produce, for example, human papillomavirus vaccine, because as you may know, the human papillomavirus vaccine from GlaxoSmithKline is also made using similar technology, or the other day a hepatitis vaccine, or the other day an influenza vaccine. So really depending on what the needs are in a specific area, you could make any product that you would need to make. So that's the future, right? Yes, it is. And finally, can you tell us what you're looking forward to about the Vaccine Development and Production Summit? Yeah, I think, you know, the program is very interesting. There's a couple of important lectures that are being given, other keynote lectures that are of importance. So we'll we'll learn about uh, new developments in the industry. And uh, at the same time, what is very important for me is really also the opportunity to network with colleagues in the field and to just stay on top of what is going on. Great. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, thank you. Menon will be present to present the keynote presentation, Flubox, Developing the World's First Recombinant, Highly Purified, Egg-Free Influenza Vaccine at this year's event, taking place June 3-5 through 5 in Durham, North Carolina.